Hello, dear friends. I want to share with you just about a 10-minute message that I, <clears throat> I think will, God will bless it to your heart. I want to speak to you on the fact that we need to focus on Jesus. We need to focus on Him and keep Him in the spotlight in our lives. The Bible says over in the 11th chapter of Luke that Jesus came to a village of Bethany and there was uh, two sisters that lived there, Martha and Mary. And Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus listening to His Word. And Martha was in the kitchen fixing food. And Martha cried out to Jesus and said, Lord, don't you care whether I have any help or not? Send Mary in here. I need, I need some help. And Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you are troubled about many things, good things, but Mary has chosen the best thing. And so it is that we need to learn something. And that is the best thing is to focus on Jesus as much as you can. Talk to him as much as you can. We need to sit at the feet of Jesus. Now when you do that, you'll be blessed. How do you do that? You do it by listening to him through the word of God. Read your Bible. You do that by listening to him as he speaks to your heart and your conscience and in your intuition. We do that while we sit at his feet by, by praying, talking to him. Spend time in prayer and you're sitting at the feet of Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. And then sometimes we sit at his feet while we're listening to others. And so that's a good way to, thing to do when we go to church is to listen to a good sermon. And in other areas of life throughout the week, we might be listening to somebody. I pray God that we'll that bless these little 10 minute messages as they go out all over the world, amen. We know then that we need to focus on Jesus. She, Mary had chosen the best thing. Now, it's important that we depend upon uh, our family and, and those around close to us. But we do not need to put them before Jesus. He needs to be number one. Number one in your life. More important than anyone else. Bigger and better and more important. And so try to keep that in mind. The other thing is, we need to learn to not, that it's important to depend upon the world for its needs, <clears throat> for food and clothes and shelter. But even so, we need to put Jesus even before that, number one. Because you see, God's going to furnish you what you need. And <clears throat> Philippians 4, 19, it says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And so, you see, God is going to supply your every need, whatever it might be, and He'll supply it. It may be not exactly what you want, but it'll be what you need. And so we need to trust Him. We need to trust Him and try Him and prove Him. And know that He'll do it. He'll make a way for you. He's going to make a way for you right now, you that are are looking at some difficult times financially. He's going to open the right door at the right time for you, and God will make a way. He will supply your needs. Oh, praise the Lord. If you keep him number one, put him number one, focus on him. Amen. And then, oh, praise the Lord. Hey, we, we need him in our, in our seeking to, uh, to please others. We need to please God, number one. He must be pleased as number one in our life. It's more important to do that than anything else. Focus on him, whatever the situation. Try to keep him number one. Try to find something good in it. I'm confined here to a nurse, uh, to a uh, retirement center. And uh, it's because of the virus. And there have been several, four or five people that send members of this residents of this center that came down with the virus. And because of that, they have been working and, and they close the doors and we can't go out anywhere. And it's been this way for two weeks. I'm hoping pretty soon we can go outside. But, but in the meantime, I have, praise God, I found more time for the Lord Jesus. I've had more time to sit at the feet of Jesus because I'm here all the time. Praise the Lord. 
There's always something good we can find if we look for it, and something God is using to make us better, closer drawn to Him. And so help us to always do that, dear God. Amen. And may the Lord bless you and give you strength every day to find and follow the way of the Lord and to know it's better than to, it's better to, to, to fix a life than it is to fix a meal. Amen. And it's better, oh, praise God, to sit at the feet of Jesus than to, <coughs> than to own everything that the world could give. So praise the Lord. God bless you. The Lord loves you very much. And he calls you to come sit at my feet. Just a few minutes every day, every day, often through the day, sit at my feet. That is, listen to me, pray to me, talk to me, believe in me. Scripture, read your scriptures and let the word of God be a part of your mind and mouth as you live each day. Let God be your strength and hope. Hallelujah. Tell others what great things he's done for you. And let the hand of the Lord direct your life. And don't depend on it yourself. Depend on Jesus. Sit at his feet and he'll bless you. Oh, hallelujah. Maybe you need to pray and ask God to forgive you and make you a Christian. If you do, you need to pray a prayer something like this and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. I believe he's paid for all my sins. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen and amen. Pray a prayer like that and you'll live forever. Find you a good church and worship God with his people. And you dear Christians, remember this that the best thing you can do in this world is to sit at the feet of Jesus and talk to him and listen to him in the name above every name. Amen. And God bless you. God bless you. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. O God our Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Oh, as thou hast been, thou forever shall be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, dear Lord, to me. Oh, praise God, praise the Lord. Peace for today, bright hope for tomorrow. All that we need as we walk by your side. Blessings today, bright hope for tomorrow, and all these blessings, ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, dear Lord, to me. Amen. God bless you. God keep you close to him. And remember this, dear friend, that God is your God. And he loves you very much. And I love you. Amen and amen.